Hey guys, welcome to Proto Code as point. Okay, recently I found out an online IDE tool from which you can develop Flutter application without installing any IDE in your local system. The tool name is Flutter Lab. So let's get started. So to use this tool, you just need to visit flutterlab.io. So let's get started. So let's check the UI interface. So you can see the interface of this IDE online IDE is similar to your Android Studio or Visual Studio. Okay, so there are various features provided by this tool. So the main feature is Firebase. You can just implement or you can just connect your Flutter Lab project to Firebase console uh, to add Firebase features in your Flutter app. And you can just uh, dump your Flutter project to GitHub repository and push and pull the project from GitHub repository. And there are various uh, tools that are provided such as Figma to uh, Flutter and there are various APIs that are coming soon okay uh, so let's get started so for that you just need to create an account in Flutter lab just sign up add your email address password required name enter it and create your sign up your account you will get an email for a verification so after verification you can use this Flutter lab to develop Flutter application okay so if you want to just try this uh, online IDE tool, you can just click on this get started and your IDE will get, get open. But uh, this tool will not save your any data if you are uh, using it without signing into your account. So it is recommended to sign in first and then use uh, start developing your uh, further app. So you can just check it out. Okay. so. By default, it have created me an app uh, with a hello world text in it. So let's run it. So to run your project, you just need to press on this build project button here. Okay. So let's wait. It will get started. So it is getting built. So let's wait. It may take some one to two minutes to build. Okay, so after successful build, as you can see, it uh, it opened an uh, emulator for me, it is, which is completely online. So it is not using any your uh, system resource. So you can see this is the app that get uh, executed in this uh, emulator. Okay, so let's make some changes over here, uh, just for showing you how uh, hot reload starts works. Okay, so let me enter my name okay hot reload okay so as you can see it will just reflect means it will just reflect but hot reload will not support i think so as you saw over here you need to sign in to uh, work with this hot reload so let's sign in with my account Okay, so we are in our account now. So this is my account I have created. I have already created my account in this uh, Flutter Lab. So for a free version, it provides you maximum two projects to be created. So I have already created one project and there is a limitation with the free version uh, that is 200 to 50 MB you can store data. So if you are working with this project, you can just add photos, videos and anything that is required for your Flutter app. So the maximum size of you can use is 200 MB. Okay, so let's check what is in premium. Okay, so premium, there are various features. Uh, you can add up to uh, 10 projects in your account and the size provided for you will be 1 GB. Okay, so you can use this all features such as GitHub, Flutter store building and everything. Okay, so in free version, if you use, you will get 200 MB as I said, uh, and you can just uh, share your project with three members or uh, three Gmail accounts. Two maximum two projects you can create with free account. Okay, so the price is also less. It is seven dollars uh, per day. So seven dollars in Indian currency maybe. 
सेवन इंटू सेवेंटी टू फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज पर मंथ यू नीड टू पे फॉर प्रीमियम ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विथ फ्री वर्जन सो हियर आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड वन न्यू प्रोजेक्ट सो लेट मी क्रिएट वन मोर प्रोजेक्ट ओवर हियर सो हियर इज अ बटन टू क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट सो जस्ट प्रेस ऑन इट हियर यू कैन सेलेक्ट योर कोड बेस सो एज यू क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट इन योर एंड्रॉय स्टूडियो और विजुअल स्टूडियो इट गिवज यू अ काउंटर एप वेन अ बटन इज बीन प्रेस सो यू कैन जस्ट सेलेक्ट विच कोड यू वॉन्ट यू कैन जस्ट सेलेक्ट हेलो वर्ड और यू कैन जस्ट सेलेक्ट एनी वन फ्रॉम दिस सो लेट मी सेलेक्ट ड्रॉवर एंड अ बॉटम बार सो लेट्स डू इट एंड गिव नेम एज ड्रॉवर ओके गिव अ नेम टू यूअर पैकेज नेम सो आई विल जस्ट नेम इट एज ड्रॉवर dot test okay so let's create it so you can make it the project as null safety if you want so i will just keep it empty let's create it and your project will be get created so let's open the project by clicking on this project so as you can see your project got created with the code for creating a drawer so let's run and test it so just build click on this build project button Let's wait for some time. So it may take some time to build your project for a first time. So it may take about uh, one or two minutes to build this. Okay, so the build was successful, and you can see there is a navigation bar with a drawer, and at the bottom there is a navigation uh, bottom bar. Okay, so I can just use this app. so here this this tool also provides you a emulator uh, that is in this web page so it is not using any of your system resource to build this uh, emulator so you can just navigate to different pages so let's check the hot rail or feature so i will just change the name of the bottom bar pages so i will just give some number hot rail or so you can see the ui got updated automatically in few seconds okay okay so let's add check out how to add the uh, external library so as we do in pub specification.yaml file and over here also there is a, a pub specification.yaml file which is which is similar to your ide of android studio or, or visual studio you can just add your library over here so let me add get okay so after adding that you just need to run a command for the pub get okay so just run it your uh, library will be get added into this what a project and that's it you can use uh, getx package in your what a project so let's import it import okay so like this you can import your get libraries as you do in your android studio ide or visual studio ide okay so you can just use you can just use any uh, library simply as you use in your uh, real ides okay so and that's it and you can just check out the setting section you can just customize as per your needs so you can see there is a null safety for now it is off you can just turn it on builder uh so let me introduce you with the building process so here web web means your emulator will get uh on and you can just check your uh, project in your emulator in this ide okay and there are various building process so let me take this side so here all here what this will do is it will install means it will generate a apk file for you so let's check it out so let's build so you can see it is saying building apk file in process so it may take some time okay so the build was successful so you can just download the apk file from here or you can just email the apk file to your friend and if you want to 
and there is one more feature that is if you want to add this uh, project so that someone else can use this project to edit it so you can just add your friend over here so there are options so let me take this side so here you can just add an email address of your friend who is an editor and just you can just give a permission to him to view the code or you want to him to edit the code and just send him the invitation from here so this uh, complete project will reach to your friend so that he can use this project okay okay so there is one more feature provided by them so you can just go to settings so here as you can see there is a device so here you need to add your device okay so first of all you need to add your device over here okay so let me check where it is okay so builder okay so this is the device that i have added and now after adding that device uh, just you just need to go your go to your real device and in your real, real device you need to install an app that is Flutter installer okay so just install it and open it and sign in with your same account that you are using over here okay so i need to sign it okay so now uh, let's run this project again so here select all or any version you can select from this except android means ios because i am using android device over here so i will just select all and run this project again this may take, this some, may time. take some time okay so after successful uh, building your project so you can see the app in your mobile device so it is getting downloaded from the server over here and by using after downloading you will get something like this so you can just click on this and install the app Okay, so as you as this pro code is been installed so i don't know why it is taking more time to get download because i my internet connection i think so okay uh, so you can just uh, run this project in your real device if you want after you are completing of your project okay so that's all for this video tutorial this was the basic introduction to forget lab ide tool and if you want uh, more video tutorial on this you can just comment down uh, about your doubts yeah, I can I will make the video tutorial on that uh, thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you